very old news a very old newspaper clipping from the Sam Gazette from what must have been one of its very first years in publication in 1790. The reporter is writing about the aftermath of the Salem witch trials, which were near the 100-year anniversary. It looks like many of the victims' family members were financially compensated, but money can't replace the dead. What? I've been locked and I can't get to open no matter how hard I try. Uh, we're fucked. You know, on a scale of one to fucked, we're fucked. <laughs> Diary entries Jacob Ward wrote it five years ago. The familiar dog sensation has again been growing in me. I can hear the voice in my head laying me to an unimaginable act. I ha have fought it for years, but alas. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, 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 I do not like. No, oh, I don't like that shit one bit. The answer we've seen is in, and there's no phone attached. Oh, I'm, that's. Time worn documents filled with illustrations that are horrific. A boy's head on a man's boy, a woman being crushed with a pile of treasure that is increased in weight on one top of her coin at a time, while she looks up at what's happening to her in agony. The back of the document is signed Samuel Wardwell. The I wasn't open to the page, I left it. Grandfather came to me in a dream last night, the same dream of him being led for execution. But this time he smiled to me as the noose was tied around his neck, knowing that our pact had been sealed. No, fuck, no. In the fuck? An ancient looking cutout that reads When the full moon riseth and the tide is high, gra grafty in the Lord and endure upon thyself internal blessings. It's signed by Samuel Wardwell. Haunted piano? Okay, no haunted piano. This old man's eyes has a steely toughness to them. His expression sent a chill down my spine. It sounded chill down my fucking spine, dude. Oh my god. Can't fucking take this game. Locked with a deep stench of something rotten inside. I'd rather not even try opening it. Okay, that's... Okay, we're just doing circles and where we just were discovering this. We're not discovering, exploring this house. Okay, this is just giving me fucking creepy vibes. Haunted piano! No haunted piano. Second haunted piano, haunted piano. Okay, the mannequin's still there, that's good. Chess! No, I can't. Books on the all card and plate. Pages, paganism, and paganism. A bookmark is on the chapter about families, about the, about the f faith's vision of hell. It's showing how similar this house to it, it is to its description. A valley where people and animals were sacrificed, the entrance to which was littered with human remains. Okay. You know, I think I'm just going to turn around and this is going to be like an entire cult with axes, pitchforks, and some dude with like a shotgun or something. And I'm just going to be like, oh, how you doing? They're going to be like, we're going to make you. We're going to cook you into a stew. We're going to burn you alive and then cook you into a stew. And I'm just going to be like, ha, ha, uh, great joke, guys. Please don't cook me. I know by Joseph Wardwell, and it ends or begins, they screamed and wailed as the blaze devoured them, and yet I have no feelings. I will ful fulfill his destiny, something my weak father never could. All right, that's interesting story. Okay, well now we're just back in the spot where we started. A page from Ella Wardwell's diary. How could you do this to my cat father? Seeing her burial alive has a scar in my mind that will remain forever. This is the last diary entry... Decated? Dedicated to you. Someone who did such a horrific thing cannot be my father. 
You know, it's like Luke Skywalker, like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to stop, like, you're not my father, and forget him. Okay. No axe-wielding maniac yet. You know, I turned this way, and I was about to comment on how I can't look any further, but then I just saw this fucking doll. All the dolls look so realistic, I can almost sense them move. Ooh. No. Like, I can't turn to the right, so I have a feeling there's a jump scare coming. This eerie looking dolls are giving me the creeps. I get a strong feeling every time that they're staring at me. Must be a voodoo doll of sorts because it's filled with rusted nails and needles. Ew. What? Uh, no, no. This one's locked too. I need to find a key and escape this nightmare. What the fuck? Demon child? No, demon child. It's locked behind me. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, no. What the hell is happening? There's a strange presence of something emitting from these dolls. No. Oh, no. Uh, fuck. Wait, no. Nope. No, you wanna know why I'm just gonna leave this episode here. Alright uh, guys, I'm gonna leave this one here. We actually got a lot further into the story than I was expecting because I was just gonna record for a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the longer episode. Sorry I didn't post, I was just kind of busy. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out.